right there before the creek, and that's going to be almost a tap in birdie. And that's huge because if you go out of bounds there, you don't get to play it from where you went out of bounds. You have to proceed to the drop zone, which is 65, 70 feet with a low ceiling. So important to stay in bounds in this hole. James a little bit left. And as we saw Paul in the open during his intro, he has what can only be described as energy is in the air, folks. Ah. The trees are moving a little bit. It is a bit breezy. Just to add an extra element for a final. And it does not work. It, it's got to have an extra weight behind it. Calvin came short, but he didn't roll down the hill, I don't think. So he should have a pretty doable putt, roughly 40 feet. And unlike Paul, he kind of took a little bit off. So did um, Kevin. So that height that I was talking about was super important as James catches a nice oh. break as well. I mean, I Look. feel like. He's been playing so well. James Conrad with his first birdie. Nice one to get. You another putt for birdie. These guys obviously possess the power to not have to really give it everything they have, and so it's a, honestly a comfortable distance for them. This is looking pretty good as well. This gets... A little Literally. bit short left, oh, yeah. maybe, but not too bad. Oh, that's fine. The crowd likes that. Figure out your bag. And obviously, these guys have done it better than the rest of the field. James lining up a long look for birdie. Hmm. him really taking his time on this one oh no james going to suffer an early bogey he's a dapper young fella with a lot of talent and many looks <laughs> from the outrageous glasses to the flowy llama-like hair. To be on the left, behind trees on a hole that breaks left, he's going to have very limited options. This is becoming my favorite hole on the course because if you are off the fairway, it is so punishing. It demands you to be in the middle. That's why this kick that James just got was so favorable because left and right is just a pitch-up. Yeah, it allows him to actually throw with quite a bit of speed, and he has done an amazing job just getting around the corner. That sets up a very manageable third shot. This is the World Series, Game 7. This is the Super Bowl. And if there were any nerves, we haven't really seen it this far. Look at we're even seeing a sidearm from James. Gets a nice kick. He's going to have a look. Yep. If you get off the fairway scrambling, the only thing going to be scrambling is your brain. Be really, but James is going to be the only person with a difficult putt left to save the par. Mentioned that jump putt percentage. In the intro, he's been making so many of these. He oh, no. It's going to be back-to-back -back bogeys for James early. Fall back four. But if there is a hole to take a bogey, I would suggest this. Unfortunately, found the out-of-bounds. That, that really is just there for precaution. I'm surprised to see that we found somebody kick that far. James, what an opportunity here with the rest of the card, at least is James and that turnover just <sighs> doesn't sneak through and that is tough over on the right side I mean anything on
All right, so James has got the guaranteed par in the. Okay, last two holes, pars are a hot commodity. And Mc... The thing that you're looking at off the tee here is you just want to miss that plum cherry on the hill just barely. If you miss it by a lot, high, left, right, you're most likely going to hit a branch. But James just barely gets over the top of it and look at the result there. I mean, it's not parked, but it's much better. Five of the world championships. When was the last time you, we didn't see him absolutely dialed? Yeah, no, I, you're absolutely right. It's, uh, it's awesome. James. Yes. There it is. Big putt there. Conrad even through six holes. This looks good. This looks really good. Maybe a little spicy. Oh, oh, that's just... How do you get over that log and down? It's just going to be always a little tough one. You're not going to see a closer drive. I, you, you can hardly put it any closer than what you... Sweating. <laughs> Me too. My palms are sweaty. Mom spaghetti. There's James going with the turnover. Very tough shot for a backhand player oh and that is almost perfect but he catches a, one of the little guardian limbs there that keeps Ooh, good effort Get in there. James, a little, not quite his normal putting from the field. This is just a dream three. And in today's round, we did have a right to left crosswind, which is probably the oh, most difficult yes. win for this hole. But James is unfazed by that and picks the. Have the opportunity to get the eagle. You know, he's got to be thinking that. I mean, Three back of the leader, who's in danger right now. This could be an opportunity to make some moves. And just a good shot. Yeah, I do like that play, though. Just making sure he sees Macbeth struggling on the hole. Not the greatest shot there from Kevin. Shot was actually his his second shot was a lot better than I even thought. Yeah, and that's gonna be a tap in birdie for James and on the course. And then all of a sudden leader takes bogey. We need to note, as Chris is tied for the lead, he is holes ahead. And so Correct. these guys, uh, if they can match Boom Sauce? Boom sauce, but left a yeah, little bit, left. a little bit. That's oh no, humongous. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's... That's... Oh, James, that's that's. James from 40. He loves it. Why not? Four down the last five. Extremely difficult for this exact shot. Once the disc gets turned over, it doesn't want to fight back as its usual flight pattern. So getting it flat. As you see, that one gets over. He got that way right. Yeah. Down to upward swing. It's going to be tough. Let's see if Jungle James is able to get up and down. And uh, yeah. Ooh, that was maybe running it if it could get past that. Heavily guarded greens on the entire course. Not just prominent big trees. We're talking. Small trees to dodge on the way to the green. 
510 feet has maybe never felt so daunting. James Conrad. Uh, absolute oh, wow. gem. Right there. That tree. Six. Can James put this close? Can that oh, yeah. put the brakes? Yeah. Brakes? Oh, yes. He hangs on. I don't. Calvin, that's, um, I don't want to say nail in the coffin, but it might be. I mean, that's with James taking a birdie and going to 34, Paul having a par. Tough. You have to go up left, drift something right, have perfect speed control. And if you don't throw it perfectly, that's what you'll end up. And you have high rise creek three feet from the basket out of bounds. So our job yep. really fun because now they all have that inside 50 foot look. Mm -hmm. Nobody inside the circle. Feet from the basket out of bounds. So that I, I like the play. I mean, if there's any doubt whatsoever creeping into your mind, then you're going to miss that putt. I mean, how often do you feel after the last like four or five holes, specific shots, mm -hmm. now you have stock shot. Okay, let's relax. Let's hit, hit this gap, throw it low. James, absolutely piped. That's a little bit better than we Yeah, passed. I agree with that. That's straighter. So it's going to open up that approach over the creek and a little bit more natural angle. $16,500 to the winner. And the second biggest payout for first place in disc golf history as well. Second to another event that Grip6 was the title sponsor for last year's disc golf pro tour finale. James Conrad, the fire continues. He's an aggressive putter that disc rarely gets above the rim inside 40 feet. And James oh, get in there. just sneaks that in the left side just to stay with us within his stroke of Paul. Oh. Putting the pressure on everyone else. James, huge pressure on this shot right here. Low, high. Is it high. Have enough to clear the log? Just. Not enough. Oh, it looked like it did for a second. And that's I'll a 40 footer. Living up to the moment. James also short side of log needs to make it and oh makes my it. Gosh, what a putt. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're saying nice park job, Paul. It's not going to buy you much. That's match play at its finest. Okay, you're parked. Watch this. Now the pressure's on Paul, and I mean, he's just cool as a cucumber. And I can't stress this enough. The putts that they made. Right moment. And that is huge. James Conrad, he's going for the high backhand hyzer, a riskier shot, but comes into the green softer, so he doesn't have to worry about the ground play nearly as much as the more reliable but faster green shot as the sidearm. And look at that, just sticking it. Perfect. Already acing this hole earlier in the week. James has this hole dialed in right now. And that with the just evil hole 15, hole 16 is going to do that to Kevin right now at the World Championships. Really? So he's going to have to manufacture some sort of scramble look. Please get through the trees here. I just don't want to see the evil trees impact this. James. Commitment. Very, yeah, committed shot is the, that's the call for sure. There it is. And sliding in, and that's going to be a lengthy approach with some navigating trees to do but that's a he's done the he has major championship experience he knows how to win he's done it this is needing to get by these okay oh my wow. gosh wow look at the scoot what a shot from james and once again match play 
Pressure's on you, Paul. James? I don't know, man. This man is locked in as well. This is perfect. Nice. Good one going into 18 as well. Being able to find the middle. We yep. saw... You need to push this up, up and left. If Paul keeps this inbounds, James has to birdie. Looks a little heavy on the hyzer. This needs to Sit. get down quickly. Sit. 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 Oh, my goodness. Wow. And not only does it sit, it puts him in a position where he can see the basket. So if three, James does a good shot here, Paul can elect to go for the basket. James has to put one in perfect position. I've seen so many shots not get the sit, sit that he did and push out out of bounds left. Okay. Miss the trees. Miss the trees. Miss. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, sit. He stays in bounds, but oh, I cannot barely. imagine that oh. he has a play for the green. No chance. Yeah, okay. There's Sky Anheuser. Do something crazy. And again, this is a tough layup. Like, this isn't easy. There's out of bounds everywhere. There is a mandatory pull that you have to get past, especially with James being a backhand predominant player. And that's a little short, too. I'm sure he'd like another 15, exactly. 20 feet. It's going to be a slightly obstructed shot from there, but it's. Yeah, and he's been throwing that high. Do anything outside of this right here. Put all the pressure on James to throw the shot of his life. And just like I said, it comes down to little up shots, right? Being in control. Decided yet. Weird things happen. What was that? This is a tight little green. Yeah. Both of these players need to execute now. Super tough shot. James, 252 to the pin. It's got to go in. I mean, he's got he's to gotta get it around the corner and get it inbounds no matter what. No. Give no! Me that. No! Oh my God! Oh my goodness. Oh my God! Oh! That is why you dream, folks. That oh. is why oh my God. dreams do come true right there. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sex and women. I mean, what words do you have? It has to be the best shot I've ever seen. I mean, if you account for the moment, account for the stakes. Oh my gosh! I mean, we're going. This is this is in all likelihood we're going to a playoff. Paul still has to get up and down. Like now, all oh. the, I, there's never been this amount of pressure on one person to get up and down from 200 feet ever. It, Paul has. I, I've lost my. Voice. Paul has done everything exactly. He has had the lead the entire time. And he's thrown every shot exactly how he's needed to. And he's made every putt. And he stepped up to the scenario that he needed to every time. And it still came down to James throwing in from 250 blind around the corner. He was looking into the sun. He couldn't even see the basket. Paul can't see the basket. This is not a gimme. I cannot believe what I just saw. Go. Okay. Okay. It's the greatest shot I've ever seen. It's I, the greatest I shot can't. of all time. It's the greatest shot of all time. I can't even believe it. It's the bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, two outs. It's more. It's game bigger. seven in the World Series. It's bigger. With a grand slam. I mean, it's more unlikely than hitting a home run. It's more. It's bigger. That's crazy. I'm. If Paul knocks us down, guess what, guys? Playoff. Island hole. Hole 16, hole 17, hole 18 on a loop. And Paul is knocking this down. Yeah, I mean, there's not. There's, we're, we've got we're extra not holes. We've we are got not extra, done. No, not even close. It's not his year this year, but man, this guy, his story is not written, and neither is this event. 
We've got more holes to play at the 2021 World Championships. Ladies Look at the card. We need everybody to stay here. The finish, the close from Macbeth and Conrad. Out. Unreal on the fort on this back nine. Uh, I, James Conrad acing hole 16 okay. early in the week. This is now Conrad yeah, Corner. This is this is, this is his grounds right now. We're going to give them 10 minutes to get their scores finalized, recorded, and then the playoff. It, we're going to play holes 16, 17, and 18 in succession until we have a winner. Uh, Sudden death. Pure bedlam, folks. I need everybody to clear the fairways, please. Good luck with that. Yeah. Everyone minutes. listen. Please, give us <laughs> Please remain calm. Uh, impossible to do. Impossible to do. That is a moment that every single person that just witnessed that in person will never forget. And we're here. Top of the hill. Hole 16. Calm conditions. And once again, Conrad going for the riskier shot. That tree comes in play. But it comes in soft, and that is so important. I'm scared for Conrad. This is way more difficult than the sidearm play. And that not looks... for James. Apparently and not for James. <laughs> look at it. It's coming back. Oh, so perfect. He's parked. This man is made out of what it takes. Oh, my goodness. Can Paul step up one more time? Going forehand. Looks good. Yep. Just, just check to, on the green. Just says, He's calling it to sit. Oh, no. No. no way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. James Conrad is going to be the world champion. Yeah, it's over. Oh, my I mean, gosh. Paul has, Paul has 80 feet for par. James is 10 feet. It's over. Oh, Unbelievable my God. finish to throw in from 250 feet to force it, to park it, put all the pressure on Paul. Unfortunately, he does push long into the water and James Conrad is going to win the 2021 PDGA World Championship. And honestly, Paul's disc had no chance to stop. That had too much juice from the get-go. That wasn't a bad break. That it didn't hit, roll in. It didn't, it didn't roll. roll in. It, was it skipped going all the way. In. Yeah, it was going in no matter what. James plays the better shot, the stall shot. Nothing could happen except for he was going to be parked. What a moment. What what a chapter in the history of disc golf has just been written. And this is just a formality. And, and whether you're watching this for the first time or you're watching this on repeat for the 30th time, I hope you understand the magnitude of this, of this moment, of what just took place in the last 20 minutes. Just low, and James has nothing left to do but walk up here on legs made out of jello. <laughs> and try to tap in uh, to become world champion. Paul with the fist bump because yeah. all he can say is hats off. You earned it. You are the world champion. There it is. Uh, chills. The things that this man overcame this year, switching companies, learning these discs, he has them absolutely dialed and look at the celebration with his best friends paul with another tap on the back and a smile from him as well you know what six means for paul for him to be able to celebrate or give james the the, the props that he does this deserved it shows a lot about paul's medal <laughs> he just takes a big oh. old chug oh that has never tasted so good <laughs> Look at this trophy, 50 pounds. The bell, the champion, James Conrad. Now has a USDGC title and a world title. This man has now put himself as one of the best disc golfers of all time, and the crowd knows it. Enjoy the Hall of Fame in 10, 15 years, buddy. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Wow one of five players ever to win the U.S. title and the world title. Oh, 
Wow, yeah.